Let's now start the most crucial part of the show. The question and answer portion. Here's my question. How does the woman in you differs in a real woman? I repeat. How does the woman in you differs from a real woman? A woman in me, inside my body, refers to a woman. It's very comparable. For me, inside my emotional aspect, as a human being and a homosexual, we exert effort to be someone to accept as a real woman. We homosexual exist without acceptance and that is the, com the comparison about true woman and a homosexuality. We all know that a real woman or the gender as a woman is very acceptable to our society. And we homosexual are discriminated and don't have the right to live with freedom and inside my emotion that's hurt because i as a human being should accept i don't ask you to love me as a woman i ask you to accept me who i am as a homosexual and that will be all thank you if somebody come to your house at a group from the from the religious sector and from the government sector, seeking for assistance. What is your priority? Okay, <laughs> that is one very tough uh, decision to make. If a government from the government sector and of course from the religious group. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, as a person who has been raised by a family who values morality, upright, and dignity, I personally believe that I have been raised as a God-fearing person. At that case, ladies and gentlemen, my priority, of course, is with the matters of the religious and spiritual living, and that is the religious group. Why did I say so, ladies and gentlemen? The mere fact that I have been raised as a God-fearing person, and I will never be the person right in front of you right now. Without my family, without my friends, of course, without the religious guidance from above, I will never, ever be. So, giving back the gratitude, giving back to all the goodness that this has proven me in my entire life, I believe it is but just right and proper to just give back in return to the religious group. For I believe the government actually can do, do it by themselves. Thank you very much. What can you say about the same-sex marriage nowadays? Are you in favor? Uh, good evening to each and everyone. As a part of the homosexual in society, despite of all the wants that homosexuals need in life, I strongly disagree upon that matter, despite that I'm homosexual. It's despite of that, I agree to people who wanted to have a good life, a good partner, and a good love in their life. But still, I am a Catholic. I still believe on what is written in the Bible that a woman is for men and a, and a man is for women. And I was raised by my parents to know what my limitation is. And despite of that marriage, marriage for me is just a piece of paper. What matters most is what's inside our heart, and that is love. Thank you very much. What's your stand regarding the issue of allowing transgenders to join the Miss Universe pageant? Okay, thank you very much for that very wonderful question. I believe that Binibiling Pilipinas is already doing such a due process in order for the transgender we're going to join already for the next competition, this Binibini Pilipinas 2013. And I think as a homosexual, as a part of a homosexual, I believe that transgender is a still a man. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, whatever kind of changes that they were going to 
exert into their body, as long as whatever kind of changes that they will go into done with themselves, I believe that they are still created as a man with the image and likeness of a man. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that those transgender should all be should know their limitations. I think there is a Miss Universe for them to join in that competition. I think that will be all, madam. Thank you and happy Fiesta Panay. If you are the president of the Philippines, what is your priority project for the good of the Republic? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we all know, nagkukulang po tayo ng paralan. So, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that education is the key of success because education we can brought anywhere and everywhere. So, that's all. Thank you. What characteristic of a woman you admire most and why? I repeat, what characteristic of a woman you admire most and why? Okay, thank you for that very interesting question. Well, for me, personality. Because, ladies and gentlemen, every one of us have a good personality, a good character, uh, good values, and of course, uh, a good education. That could be all, and I thank you. If God gave you one thing, or if, if God gave you a power to change a thing permanently in this world in two minutes, what would that be and why? I'll repeat. If God will give you a chance to change one thing in this world permanently in two minutes, what would that be and why? Thank you. Thank you for that beautiful question. Kung may babaguhin po ako dito sa mundo, gusto ko pong baguhin ang... Mundo ko na parang yung mga Mars. I thank you. How are you going to convince your foreigner friends that it's more fun in the Philippines and why? Okay, so the question is how am I going to convince my family and my friends that it is more fun in the Philippines? Is that correct now? Okay, well basically there are different things that we can do in order for us to convince our family and friends that it's more fun in the Philippines. The first thing that comes in my mind is letting them picture how beautiful Philippines is. I believe that once it is inculcated in their minds that Philippines is the most beautiful country in this world, I believe their heart and their mind would love to be here in the Philippines. Secondly, by just merely showing them how beautiful create how beautiful the creations of God here in the Philippines, like me, like us, all the people here in the Philippines. We Filipinos are known to be hospitable. All the characteristics and good qualities that we have are simple things that we can show to the world that we, Philippines as a country, is a competitive country, and we are the best place to be in. I think that will be all. Thank you very much. If you are given a chance to be a woman for one day, how will you spend it i really repeat if you are given a chance to be a woman for one day how will you spend it okay if i will be given a chance to be a real woman for one day how can i spend it well i think it would be um, uplifting gaze in the society 
even though the, uh, even though you give me the chance for one day, I will uplift the gays and Del society. To uh, because I will show to the people that they must be transparent, open-minded, and know how to motivate and uplift gays and Del society. Because being a gay is not committing crime, but being gay is to be proud of. Because we're not just only into fashion, into arts, but also we are globally competitive. I think that would be all. Thank you, and I will spend. My, uh, I will spend that I am a woman on telling that gays are to be proud of in this society. I think that would be all. Thank you.